Hello everyone. Today is the um, week of uh, the sixth week of Easter, Wednesday, and we are going to use the prayer for the close of the day on page uh, 298 in the Lutheran service book. Page 298. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord. To sing praise to your name, O Most High. To herald your love in the morning. Your truth at the close of the day. Let us sing a hymn about God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Number 954, we all believe in one true God. Number 954. <clears throat> We all believe in one true God, who created earth and heaven, the Father who took us sin, as the right of children gave soul and body feeds us, all we need is and provides us. Through all snares and perils leads us, watching that no harm betide us, he cares for us. I dare not, all things are governed by his mind. We all believe in Jesus Christ, his own Son, our Lord, possesses. An equal God had thrown and white, source of every grace and blessing. Born of Mary, Virgin Mother, by the power of the Spirit, Lord made flesh our elder brother. That I lost my life in heaven was crucified for sin and raised by God to life again. We Continue with the letter to the Hebrews with chapter 3, the first six verses. 
Therefore, holy brothers, you who share in a heavenly calling, consider Jesus, the apostle and high priest of our confession, who is faithful to him who appointed him, just as Moses also was faithful in all God's house. For Jesus has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, as much more glory as the builder of a house has more honor than the house itself. For every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. Now Moses was faithful in all God's house as a servant to testify to the things that were to be spoken later. But Christ is faithful over God's house as a son, and we are his house, if indeed we hold fast our confidence and our boasting in our hope. As written to the Hebrews, Moses was bound to come up in the argument about Jesus. First, that Jesus is greater than the angels, and now that Jesus is greater than the one among the Jews who was the great prophet who gave them the law of God, Moses. And one of the observations that is made is interesting, that uh, Jesus is more worthy of glory than Moses as the builder of a house is worthy of more glory than the house. And then in parenthesis, every house is built by someone, but the builder of all things is God. And so here we have the argument for the existence of God called the cosmological argument. And if the argument that uh, all things must have a cause seems intuitive to you, that's just a tribute to the strength of this particular argument. And the cause of this particular house, the universe that we live in, has to be a pretty amazing cause, greater than anything that we can imagine. Just as uh, if you and I were to jump up and down, we couldn't cause an earthquake, so our universe has to have a cause sufficient enough to produce something as awesome and far-reaching as the known universe. Indeed, we believe that God is the creator of even more than our universe, creator of all things visible and invisible. That would be the universe invisible to us. Christ is faithful over God's house that he made as a son, and we are his house. Now that means more than just we are where he lives, but he is the house in which we live. We are his house, and he is the one who is the house itself, the argument that St. Paul makes in, uh, in his writings that we are his body, the temple that Jesus allowed to be destroyed and then rebuilt in three days was the temple of his body. So Jesus is worthy of glory as a creator, also as the high priest of our confession, as we read in chapter three. But he is more than just our creator, he is our redeemer. And it is for that reason that both our universe and the universe of the angels both give glory to the one who was slain. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive all honor and power and glory. And we have redemption in Jesus Christ, just as we have salvation in him through the forgiveness of our sins. 
for he was the priest who was also the victim, as we will find later in Hebrews, the one who not only offered a sacrifice, but was himself the sacrifice to make atonement for human sin and to take away the guilt and iniquity of the world. Let us confess our faith in him, in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Lord, now you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, you are the strength of all who trust in you, and without your aid we can do no good thing. Grant us the help of your grace, that we may please you in both will and deed, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit our dwellings, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. God bless.